you know, you're like altering yourself to try and be what this person wants you to be or what the world wants you to be or what whoever wants you to be. Um, and it's, it, I think it usually gets rejected because it's not your true self, you know, it's like, like people respond more to truth than what they even think that they want. Welcome to Sun Studio. You are here with Amber Rubarth. I was like really trying to be what this person wanted to be. Like I was, I was in that moment. I, I wasn't saying like I'm going to write a song that's going to inspire people to be more like themselves. But I think that that's part of that journey. You know, it's part of like you go through these things and you do stupid things and you write about it. And you know, especially for me, like songs, songs are probably the only way that I actually figure anything out. the colors and the details so here's mine I snuck out down a dark 17th street late last night I took my little orange book lamp and the notebook with the stars on the front the sleeping bag that my ex gave to me to keep me warm and a black fountain pen write the words that it was too late to say out loud and my eyes turned you love when all the words in a song move really fast and your ears have to choose just one little phrase to hold on to. And you love when all the chords are really simple so you can play it on the guitar and then when it goes to a funny one at the end you like that too. And so I'll build you a song and I know you're gonna love it because I'm putting in all the pieces that you said you wanted in it and I'm writing it here in my room in just my underwear and an orange t-shirt because I know that you'd think that was hot. stayed out too late at the cheesecake factory the night before and we held hands on the beach and I found that crab in a funny shell and you took video of me holding it up by the newly painted blue motel and you said I like you a lot and I thought well this couldn't get much better So happy you met me when you did because you were starting to think you didn't like people. And you told me that when I moved out that I could still stay in your room for weeks. But now I'm wondering if I imagined it or if it was ever really there because they say even in magic nothing truly disappears. It just gets stuffed up somebody's sleeve or behind their hand or on top of their head. You forgot to keep your eye on it. You're looking down instead. So now I'm the fool up on stage, the magic show, searching the deck for my card while everyone laughs because they know that it's in plain sight to see. Yeah, it's stuck on your forehead, but I can't think you're mean. I volunteered to be misled. Yeah, cause I like you a lot, but I don't know what to do with it now. When I like you a lot, but I 
didn't think it hurt this bad and I like you a lot and we both know that it's worse than that Thank you so much.